Hello. 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 Welcome back. This is going to be game number three. Game number today. three. Yes. I am Lokita Bonita. I am Chai Kilski. Hey. Hey. And we are. Hey. Ready. You might remember us from two weeks ago <laughs> at <laughs> WFTDA North yes. America West. That's right. <laughs> but this time you're not in charge. So, like, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, it is. I get to just have regular fun. You get to just have regular fun. Instead of responsibility fun. <laughs> so we don't really know time to derby yet. That's fine. It just says coming up. So we're going to go ahead and hit these rosters. Yeah. So who do we got? Well, I'll uh, roll through that Atlanta list here. Okay, hit Atlanta. What are they wearing today? They are wearing red, skating in red, and that, like, Carolina blue colors. Ooh. I, I love those jerseys. Okay, anyway. Skating with number one zero is Emma Dupain. One zero five nine, get off my lawn. One one one, Mech Attack. Number thirteen, American Thick. Number two, Square Ruthless. Twenty seven, Dominican Dynamite. Three zero one, that's Black Soul Rose. Three zero two, Iron Malcontent. Three three three, Sweet and Sour. Four two zero, Tanya Hardis. 43, Harley Trin, 8008, Tug and Cheeks, <laughs> 95, Lightning McLynn, and 99 is Agony Christie. All right, and uh, skating in black today, we've got a Twister, Twister City Roller Derby. I say that five times fast. <laughs> a Victory All-Star Squad, zero Roller Vortex, three Brittany Vetch, three two Baja Blaster, three five Childish Giambino, three seven Lethal Whippin', three eight Elbow Macaroni, four zero Punchy, four two Something Fierce, four two zero Trangela Lansbury, five four four six Trenchtown Rocket, six JK, eight Sharpie Marker, eight two five Professor Flex, eight five E Bomb, nine one eight Woody Toity, and nine eight Adrestia. And, and, yeah, share those officials. Those officials. Okay. Our nine skating officials, we've got Rose Slambeau, Nomad, Bruce Almighty, Decider, The Doctor, Ms. Judgment, Officially Mel, Aggie Battery, Mala Suerte, Mortal Kombat, and Toxic Marcotic. Skating officials are Kilt Trip, Laddie, Jacques Strap, Chewbacca, -fa, <laughs> Chewbacca, <-fa, laughs> F and Ref, Jekyll and Sides, Extra Crispy, and STO Nasty. Man, there's some great derby names. We got names some great derby names. All name. over the place. I didn't and some more familiar refs from and officials from NA West, too. That's right. Yeah. I should have specified we are going to be watching the Atlanta Roller Derby Rumble Rumblebees. Bees. We'll see Dirty South Dirty from Atlanta l later mm -hmm, this mm -hmm, evening. Mm -hmm. Dirty South Derby, another tongue twister. They'll be here later uh, this evening. And the Rumblebees are coming in ranked at number nine, Twister City. At eight. Eight. We love those. Uh, so hopefully matchups. this will be a really close game and we're going to lose our minds. So I know we're going to try and do a little color and play-by-play. -play. Which which one? We didn't even decide this before we got here. I know. I think <laughs> I think we just roll with it like we do. I've noticed the other announcers was pretty much just uh, folks doing their thing. Yeah. I mean, I know I will always default just to play-by-play, like -play, but if we always yeah, see anything yeah. interesting, we're going to make sure and point that out to you yeah. guys. I tend to do that as well. Yeah. So, you know, we'll keep it. keep it up in the chat. Thank you for joining us on on the Texas Roller Girl Girls, <laughs> Texas Roller Girls yeah. YouTube channel. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so definitely keep us keep us keep us honest in the chat. Uh, we did check all the pronouns, pronunciations with everybody. If we get anything really wrong, you know, let us know. We'll, we'll we can always check something again. But we have talked to all the teams uh, that are playing and uh, we will be doing our very best. Yes. Definitely doing our very best. Our best. <laughs> We're and, just uh, doing our best. Yeah. <laughs> and Chai and I both care a lot about saying things correctly. I know. So I, yeah, I think that's, I think that's <laughs> why we get along. <laughs> if, you, if you saw some of our pre-game conversations about names, yeah. like trying to figure out, even like the written down phonetic spellings. Well, that's how you We're know. Like, that's how you know you're going to be friends with somebody <laughs> is when you like have the same pet peeves. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about... It's not about liking the same stuff. It's about having the same right. stuff that pisses you yeah. off. Yeah, and the same things that you get yeah, you get intense about saying things <laughs> correctly. That's the thing. Exactly. We get intense about. But mostly, I mean, I mean for me at least, it's because I really want to respect and honor people. Yeah. And a great way that people feel seen is by saying their name correctly. Yeah, and their pronouns and pronouns their also. team names and all that stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so big, sh huge shout-outs to everybody who lets us know when we get it wrong. Yeah. Because we really do try hard. 
Hi, chat. Oh, hi, fighting girlfriends. So nice to see you in the chat. Aw, fighting girlfriends. We got some ATL fans. We got them Rumble Bees fans. So this is Rumble Bees' first time at a regional championship. So heck yeah. We've got two B teams this weekend. We've got Rumble Bees and the Chainsaws from Texas. Yes. So you're going to see both of those teams play. You're going to see two teams from each league play this weekend. Uh, we will be seeing those Chainsaws later today. And, of course, we will see those Texies and Atlanta Dirty South. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, Chai, but I do have some special love for the ATL. I went to college at Georgia State. Okay. Right in downtown Atlanta. What, what? And uh, what? It was a, uh, well, a good <laughs> time was had by all. That's, that's what I'll say. I loved my time. A good time was had by all. Yeah. I loved my time in the Dirty South. It was super fun. I know we've got some officials here. From it, it makes me laugh. I always like make these connections. Um, some officials from Huntsville, Alabama. And I went to Sam Houston in Huntsville, Texas. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but, man, that was a long time ago. I don't want to think about that, how long ago that was anymore. <laughs> you don't even know how long ago I was in college. It's been a hot minute. Hot us. minute. Hot minute for all of us. A yeah. real hot one. <laughs> <laughs> a real hot one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know how hot it gets down there. Yeah, the I do. <laughs> hey, it looks like we might be getting ready to have some live I think it's happening. Action. I see our officials, one of my favorite. Who's your favorite? Jam timers. This is Nomad. That's right. Nomad, Nomad. Jam timed at West. And, oh. All right. The technique. <laughs> and we're off. Here we go. Lightning McGlynn up for Atlanta. Childish Jambino. For Twister City and lead has already been called. That is Twister City with the first lead of the game. Yeah, Childish Jambino getting up to the front, knocked out, but recycled so quickly, still able to get out. And oh, what well, is this? Interesting. Well, we're seeing some really nice offense here, keeping the Atlanta pivot away from the jammer. Um, but it looks like they're getting a little bit of a whip. Yeah, and a cut track call. Mm. Oh no, who got the cut? On oh, the jammer. Okay, so yeah, lead, on lead one, lead lost. That's right. So it's a power jam. Power jam. I like that hard M. Lightning McGlynn just, just, just putting that knee pad back over their knee. <laughs> Yikes. So, wow, great job there by Twister City. Just completely okay. killing that time. We love these gifts of two-minute jams. <laughs> What a way to start. What a way to, I mean, that means pretty much hopefully everybody's going to score. And we go a little casual apex jump for, well, nope, that was the initial, though. Man. Shouldn't like, that be four points? Well, I don't know when the, I think the cut track might have happened before. Before. Okay. Yeah. It all right. Recognized I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it. I'll give it to you. Let's trust these refs, right? <laughs> yeah. You know you got to be among the best of the best to be an official. Honestly, champs. on these crews, yeah. So Giambino having to go back and recycle. Uh, I will say Lightning McGlynn has been doing really good at staying inbound so far. I don't even think I've seen her go out yet. Uh, but, yeah. Got three to beat, but what a three that is. I see Betch holding down the top of their tripod as the jam comes to an end. We will see a couple of points on the board for... Atlanta and four for Twister City, your first lead. Yeah, and as a reminder, Atlanta is skating in the red jerseys, Twister City in the black jerseys. Man, man, two whole minutes and only six points scored. <laughs> That's a battle. Yeah. Well, everybody's not tired yet either, so, you know, right, defense. Yeah. <laughs> and the humidity hasn't sucked the life out of everyone. Love this thick air. Yeah, Trangela Lansbury with the star for Twister City, Twink 182. <laughs> what a great for name. Atlanta. Oh, man, and Trangela Lansbury out first, long legs. High Whoa, oh, almost. Trangela Lansbury. A Trangela Lansbury. What a great name. With number 420. It is a great name. Gonna Picks get those points. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you heard during that last um, 
game, but our friends in the chat were giving us some fun ways to announce four points. Okay. Four on the floor. Okay. Aisle four cleanup and four to force. Four to force. Along with, I think there was one more. Four on the board. What four, on the board. four on the board. There you go. Anybody in the chat have more to add? We'll write it down. Absolutely. All right. Lethal whipping. Fort Twister City, Mac Attack for Atlanta. No lead yet. We see the Twister City pivot heading to the box. Two to beat up front for Mac Attack. Lethal Whippin trying to take advantage of the pack coming apart. We see a forearm call on Twister City Jammer. So Power Jam Atlanta, but no lead assessed yet. Oh, that's exciting. Let's see. I'm getting excited. Here we go. Mac Attack. Ooh, nice. On uh, the attack. Okay, Mac Attack. And that's lead for Atlanta. First lead for Atlanta here in jam number three. I'm always satisfied to see a jammer knock out a blocker who's running after them like that. I mean, that was a um, beautiful it's so always, It's always satisfying. Beautiful offense from tongue and cheeks here for Atlanta. But the whole tripod is sitting there on Mac attack. And finally, finally finds enough space to get out. But nope, it looks like that is also going to be a cut. So another two-minute jam for you. You're welcome. Wow. You're welcome. We'll be here for an hour. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, already we've seen quite a few jammer penalties this game. I think in the last game we, we didn't see very many at all. And we're going to see another cut. I yeah, see an OPR two. making that cut track signal on a blocker. All right, no silly blocker cuts, guys. But now that I've said it, I've cursed everyone. <laughs> shame, shame. That's Ian Malcontent. What Joining. a great name. <laughs> Jordan Mac Attack. I'm never, I'm never getting sick of derby names. Never, ever. I know. Derby names are one of my favorite things about derby. And Lethal Whippin putting up some points in this jam. It's like four for both teams. Yeah. No late no late points sneaking in. Man, I don't think so. This is another one that okay, so this two two minute jam was four and four. The last yeah. two minute we jam we had was four and two. <gasps> so the defense that's what that's telling me is that the Every, defense Everybody is ate their breakfast on point. They didn't have a morning game. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Everyone's awake now. <laughs> Okay, seeing some, some tripping and falling here in the pack as we get going. Emma Dupain, or is it Dupain? Childish Giambino back on the line for Twister City. Emma Dupain looking for the way out on the outside. I will say Twister City's pretty good at locking down that outside line. However, it is going to be Emma Dupain outside on the inside. Coming back around for a scoring pass. Childish Giambino with the star off looking for the pass. So finally here we can see Atlanta waking up a little bit. Not, you know, getting that lead. Star pass completed. Let us have the pass. Pivot jammers, let's go. Another skater in that S1 penalty box. Mm. S1 penalty box seeing a lot of action this game. And we're only seven minutes in. Score 12 to 7. Just five points separating both of these teams. Give a shout out to... Our sponsor, Triple Eight, revolutionizing roller derby safety with cutting edge technology and unrivaled design. Stay protected with Triple Eight. I like their elbow pads. I do too. Honestly. I, I got one of their helmets too, the MIPS. M oh, yeah. I have to, I'm interested I to try that out. Yet, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go again. Trangela Lansbury with Lightning McLinn. And that is going to be Trangela Lansbury with the lead. As one of the blockers heads to the box, so both teams down one. Going to have ourselves a little tripod drill. Big knockout on Lightning McLinn by uh, number eight. That is uh, Sharpie Marker. Fifteen to seven, Twister City. Trying to make some moves, maybe pulling away a little, but of is course this is, is roller is derby, Is eight right? points pulling away? Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 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 it's roller derby. 20-point so. jams pulling away. 
Fair point. Fair point. Look, we just we just need to be excited early, right? That's, That's what right. it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Whitey toity. Whitey toity. For Twister City. And Twink 182 for Atlanta. Looks like Twink is up there at the pivot line. Oh, up on those two stops on that inside line, but does get knocked inside and recycles back. A lot of action here in turn one. Everybody just chilling. 30 seconds already off that jam clock, and we do not have lead yet. An Atlanta jammer going to the S1 penalty box. So this is interesting because Twink182 is not on any of our rosters. Hmm. That is interesting. A late ad? Twink. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's a different number. 187. Okay. Okay, and it just doesn't say 182 on the roster. All right. Sorry. Sorry for my confusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it takes a second for us to get settled in, too, and see all of our... I'm going to write that down for myself because I was like, this person doesn't exist if it's not written the way it shows up on the scoreboard. <laughs> right? But I see that Twink, Twink's number is 182. Yeah. Even though on our paperwork here, oh. it says 187. Who wants to point it out to the GTO? No. <laughs> Not our job. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. We're learning things. We learn. We grow. We learn. We grow. We fix the numbers. Yeah. You know who's learning and growing? Oity toity. All right. With lead status and eight points already. There has been a star pass to Tongue and Cheeks for Atlanta. Three more points going up. Oh, and this is going to be a power start mm. with the jammer in the penalty box. So is this the first power start that we've had? Yes. Yeah. Our yeah. producer, Blue, is saying yes. I'm glad I've been doing this long enough that I can even think of stuff like that. I'm like, I think this is the first power start right. we've had. We've had jammer penalties, but not power starts. Ooh, a little bit of uh, Ooh. pack confusion there. Love this Atlantis. journey. Love this journey for Jambino. Atlanta almost caught with one too many skaters on the track as they have three currently in that S1 penalty box. Wow, wow, wow. And this, you know, this is often the difference that you start to see between A and B teams is, is B teams haven't quite figured out, you know, how to adjust to the refing or, you know, still working on some of that penalty stuff. Um, but we'll see, you know, maybe this is just a momentary lapse. Right, yeah, certainly a solid um, derby program there in Atlanta. Oh, yeah, totally. Building up so many skaters. Well, to have two teams that, can, that are capable of being at a tournament like this. For sure. Okay, I'm seeing a forearm call from Extra Crispy here in one of the OPRs. Yeah, somebody's going to go to the box for this. Lots of shout outs for Twister City based in Oklahoma City. OKC. In case Oklahoma, you City. Know. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. I was in the orchestra of a high school production of Oklahoma once. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was actually born in Oklahoma, in Muskogee. I went to Oklahoma. grad school in Oklahoma. But look at this. This is boring. Let's look at the score. Oh, Twister know, right? City. Official timeout. Got a, got a nice OTO. Perhaps so perhaps a team timeout, we'll tell you. Yeah. Let's um, oh, no. We are right hmm. back at it. So I'll... Uh, Read some sponsor stuff. Right just kidding. That. Just kidding. 35 to 7 so far. Twister City in the lead, and it's Trangelo Lansbury with the lead jammer just spinning right around that inside line. I love it when it happens right in front of us. And here we go with Emmett Dupain getting knocked out to the outside, but the blocker that took her out also got knocked out, so we get to stay. And we're seeing Ua. A head block on. Emma Dupain, you don't always see a head block. It's a nice uh, nonverbal signal there from the refs. Trangela Lansbury coming around for the scoring pass, knocked out to the outside. 99 from Atlanta taken out by offense. 
Trendle Lansbury here again, another with the spin move on the inside line. I feel like you got to get right in front. I feel like you have to be right, <laughs> right in front of her to get to get to stop her. Tall yeah. jammers. All right. I know those long legs. Even man. even the good even the good fall. You know, nice controlled fall. Stays in bounds. Gets out. Gets those points. I want to give a shout out to uh, our on-site wellness. Body Breakdown by Blue is here with massages and newly added IV hydration sessions from Radiant Hydration and Wellness. Also offering walk-up compression space pants, cold and heat therapy, and wellness products from Urban Apothecary, formerly known as Crybaby Wellness. So we've got a uh, team timeout called by Atlanta, and this gives us a chance to talk about the score. 47-7, to 7, Twister City in the lead, and Atlanta held scoreless for the last five jams. So nice nice time to take a timeout. We've got 16-22 on the clock here. Uh, Going to try and regroup and get it back together. But, yeah, I mean, we got the story. It's Twister City's jammers are doing really, really well on those lines. You know, I want to say they're just not covering – them quite as well and hopefully we can see some change up here even in the first half though usually you don't see it till the second yeah that's true maybe this timeout is going to be what they need to get settled in just looking at the predictor from WFTDA and a, a, a close game is predicted a score of 160 to 139 mm. so let's see if we see some shifting up happening 160 to one, 169 that's right yeah. wow okay so I mean we should see a close game then uh, no matter what I mean this is the 8 and the 9 seed mm -hmm. you know I think Twister City coming in right above Rumble Bees right yeah make sure I remember that yes that's correct yeah we got Electra Blue as our producer she's super good <laughs> <laughs> yes. She designed the track that you're watching. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's Lethal Whippin' with the star for Twister City and Mac Attack for Atlanta. Mac Attack pushing towards the top front of the pack right at that pivot line, getting knocked to the inside and just kind of rolls right back around. Not much of a recycle there. And still pushing forward, getting this pack spread out. Some nice bridging happening there from Twister City to maintain that pack. But holy smokes. I mean, this is. Tell me how is. you feel. I, was, <laughs> I mean, they don't usually get that far out. I think Twister City really practices their bridging a yeah. lot. Love Mac to see it. <laughs> is lead. And this is Atlanta's first lead in the last five jams. And, you know, you can't bridge like that unless you have very good individual blocking. Fair point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. E-bomb with that star. Yeah. Quick star pass there right at the end. Get out of the pack. Force the call off. Yeah. You love to see a pivot who has a completely different jamming style from the jammer, you know, because then it's like, all right, we got to change this up. <laughs> pass that. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, those things can be a difference maker. Austin's new sports pub is exclusively supporting women's sports. All fans are welcome. Coming fall 2024, visit them in Vendor Village. That's ATX Women's Sports Pub. In case you missed it, Atlanta did pick up three points in that last jam. But here we go, Childish Giambino again with the lead for Twister City. We're losing Betch to the box, to the S1 penalty box. Is everything sponsored here this weekend too, or is it just penalty box? Just the penalty box. Just penalty box. Yeah, no, last weekend, last, last two weeks ago, it was like everybody, everything. even yeah. the infield. <laughs> That's how Arizona rolls. Yeah, right. Hey, get that bread. But here we go. This is Childish Giambino in the pack. Atlanta really holding it together here in the far straightaway with two down, two to beat. Now three again. Nice, nice uh, recycling here. We are going to see a multiplayer block. Man, Lightning McLynn mm. really hugging those ah. inside lanes. And, oh, penalty. Got a little too close, I got think. Got a little too, little too, too. Oh, is that a two? 
Uh, just to, uh, just to, for those who just tuned in, Atlanta Rumble Bees are in red. Twister City in black with the red polka dots. Yes. And yes. our score, wow, 51 to 10. So 8-9 seed, not 40, 40 points almost. Yeah, that's right. This is the... It's just the first half. It's just the first half. It's just half. the first half. Yeah, it know. doesn't mean anything. And it's the first it half of anything. the first half. You know, I was talking to Star Trek. Yeah. Northeast tournament had no upsets. Europe had a bunch. We had some We had some really interesting upsets in NA West, so we're going to have to see what NA South gives us. But so far, I don't think there's been any upsets for NA South either. Not yet. Yeah. But Trangela Lansbury out first. MVP Jimmer? Up that lead. <laughs> I think she is certainly in the running. With this showing, yeah, penalties, I think, are really going to tell a big story. We have seen a lot of penalties here in the in this first, I don't know, minutes of the game. And one of those being on the Atlanta Jammer here in yep. jam number 11. So that was a power jam. Seen a direction here on a Twister City blocker, which is, you know, good for Lightning McLean. Out of the pack now. Done with the initial, but it's not going to be any any points. Starting from the box like this. So another positive jam for Twister City. 12 minutes on the clock. First half. Just the end of jam 11 here. Yeah, I'm interested to see. Do we have a? Do we have the scoreboard? The so we have. Uh, show me it. We're getting ready here for jam 12. 12. Oh. We and don't have access to penalties, friends, yeah. but we'll try to find some stuff out during halftime and then let you know. Oh, we're going to find out. <laughs> we have jammer penalties, but that's it. All right. So jam okay. 12 underway, sweet and sour. A lead. First time we're seeing sweet and sour here. A very strong jammer gets out, picks up lead. I think this might be first jam we've seen sweet and sour this uh -huh, game. Uh -huh. I think sweet and sour might also be rostered um, with the uh, with Dirty South Derby. Okay, have to double check that, but I, I believe so. And Woody Tweety with the star for Twister City. Woody Tweety, great name. Great Wo name. Woody Tweety has finished an initial pass and now s ready to score some points. Oh, almost on the outside, just a couple of toe stops out, but smart with the recycling. Sweet and Sour still working on it. Recycling just enough to get some space, you know, to run back, get some more speed. We see Woody Toity now run back by number two from Atlanta, and that is Square Ruthless. A very quick blocker in and out of that pack. And here we go, lead jammer here. That is sweet and sour for Atlanta. So two leads in a row now for Atlanta. Let's see if they can capitalize. Yeah, this is four points for sweet and sour. Sweet and sour may be running this long. We've, we're already a minute and a half into this jam. Mm. And eight points now picked up so far I mean, by this, sweet and sour. They need to run it long. They're down, they're down by this much. they got to get as many points as they can, you know, not just to score, but also, you know, for that point differential. For sure, and their blocker's doing a great job out there this jam. Stuff I repeat, even though I know I don't understand the math at all. <laughs> all right. Still about 40-point difference here, but nice big jam for Atlanta, 12-4. I want to say this is the highest-scoring jam. This is definitely the highest-scoring jam Atlanta's had so far. But maybe also the highest scoring jam of the game. Tied for mm, the highest tied. scoring jam. Yeah. Uh, Twister City has had two 12 point jams, and this will be Atlanta's first 12 point jam. Thank you. And it will be play. Twister City's first team timeout. Tell us, tell us about uh, one of these nice sponsors. Yeah, 187 mm. Killer Pads. Often imitated, never duplicated. Stick with the best. Hey, and need a gift for the skater in your life? Get skate-themed art, stickers, and gifts from Create and Skate Factory, a passion project by Jukebox. And I, I've seen those prints in person and stickers, and they are they're quite cool. Really? Yeah. Should I go? I should go look at that. You should go look at I it. I should go look at that. This is real cool. I also want to give a shout out to Minutemen Press, the official print shop of Texas Roller Girls. Mm -hmm. They've printed all our programs, flyers, and posters. 
and they're beauties. And you know what? Also, I'm super enjoying our host, Texas Roller Girls. A big shout out to all the officials, volunteers, um, announcers, everybody that could be here this weekend. You're putting on a hell of a tournament. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work to put on a tournament. Who, who was out here pressure washing the floor last night? Who was that? <laughs> I don't know, but it yeah. it looks amazing. Score? T- yeah, TJ was. 61 22 here. Yeah, our THA was pressure washing the floor last night. <laughs> they, do, they do have rodeos in this venue. <laughs> do they really? Yeah, they do. It was covered in dirt. <laughs> <gasps> okay, that's awesome. And you know what else is awesome? We're right back at that All derby right. action with Childish Jambino. Jambino. Out first, picks up lead. Mac Attack also wearing that star for Atlanta. We got 4-3 heading to the box for penalty. That's Harley Trin from Atlanta Roller Derby. We try and say all these blockers' names, but it's so e- easier when they're going to the box. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so sorry. Big apologies for that. No, this is helpful for footage later so they know when they did it. <laughs> yeah, and Atlanta fam, y'all, you, you keep having three skaters in the penalty Ooh. box. Beautiful big catch on Childish Gambino by the Atlanta Pivot. I will point this one out. It was so good. Two seven. That's Dominican Dynamite. Wonderful side catch. Rotated right back into the jammer and made made Jambino you know, work for this. Sounds like an appropriate name. Yeah, right. Dynamite play. Yeah. And Dominican Jam- Dynamite. That's right. And Jambino just found an opening and strolled right on through, picking up four more points. Twelve points so far on this game, and still almost a minute left here in jam number thirteen. Everybody over in the turns, turn three. And this is a power jam. Well, gonna be a power start when we get into that next jam, jam number 14. And Atlanta also down a blocker. Down a blocker and a jammer, oops. Yeah, that's not how you want to start. Nah, but, you know, we got drills for that. That's right. That's you know, derby. We got, we got drills for that. Yeah. Tripod power start. All right. All right. Let's go. We're going to see some offense immediately off the line for Twister City. Going to make it nice and easy for Trangela Lansbury. But, hey, still looking good here. Nice nice defense yep. from 301 Black from Atlanta. Soul that's Blacksell Rose. You know it. Jammer out of the box. Trangela Lansbury is lead. However, everybody's working their hardest to get Mac Attack out of here. And, oh, almost, almost unopposed. Not quite recovering fast enough. I'm going to see a cut track call on another Atlanta blocker. Tongue and cheeks. You don't love to see it. No. Come on, blockers. Yeah, that stay S, on the track. The S one <laughs> penalty box is getting way too much love for my liking. You know, do you, if you get so many penalties, does S one give you something for it, or <laughs> that's an excellent question? <laughs> I'd love to know. So both teams with a blocker in the penalty box, and we got got the jammers out. Score eighty twenty two. So Twister City pulling away about almost just about sixty points here lead. Six minutes left in the first half. Atlanta in red, Twister City in black. And we've got Lethal Whippin back up for Twister City. Emma Dupain for Atlanta. And that is going to be Lethal Whippin lead, Jammer. Oh, a Ooh. pile up there. Small pile up. You always yeah. got to, like, take a beat. Yeah. And then, you know, we getting up, we going, we good. It looked like it might have startled us all. Yeah, and we do see somebody startled into the box. <laughs> <laughs> that is. <laughs> That's punchy for Twister City. Man. Some nice big hits out there from tongue and cheeks. And you know, Leaf and been doing a really good job of staying in bounds. Really aware of that outside line, even though you know they're not looking. They're not looking at it. She, her, yeah. Leaf and Whippin, she. Love a pack with track awareness. Yeah, Letha Le- Wibben's really getting a lot of traction out of to stepping around the outside line. Um, Atlanta definitely just not covering that line as well. Yeah. 
And with that whistle, we have about five minutes left here in the first half. So if you are watching us on YouTube, we did just post to the chat channel. That was Muffin. Um, we are doing a roller derby, roller derby fundraiser for LATAM teams. They're collecting gear, donation, gear donations to LATAM derby teams. Um, they're collecting them at the TXRG merch booth. But, of course, there is a PayPal donation link. So, yeah, help us out. I know we've got uh, at least three LATAM leagues so far. Um, we're going to help benefit. That is going to be Dos Por Cuatro, Settler City, and I think Metropolitan Roller Derby, um, who are going to receive some donations of gear. And, hey, here we go. Lightning McLynn. Oh, was maybe lead, but is getting a forearm call. Oh, man. Ah, so close. But this does mean lead switches over. Well, never switched over. It's actually Childish Jambino, who is the lead jammer. I think Lightning that Lynn, Lynn has had a couple of penalties so far this half. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Blue two. Yeah. Blue at least, at least two. Yeah. Two. Yeah, so the jammers for Atlanta have had a little penalty trouble here. Um, their blockers have definitely had a lot of penalty trouble. And, you know, you can tell on the score, it's just, you know, Twister City's pulling away, keeping it clean, keeping it locked down. Yeah, we'll find out more about those penalties during halftime. Yep, and that is American Thick now heading the box for Atlanta. And, and, busted, get off my lawn. Get off my box. <laughs> you can't see the face Bernita just made at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, just going to sidestep that and <laughs> talk about 12 <laughs> points scored so far by Childish Jambino here in the first half. Oh, Blacksell Rose getting a big hit there to the inside. Just taking a taking a beat. Now back on the track, though. Looking strong. Wow, Ian Malconton with the drop on Childish Jambino, but Jambino back up and out. Oh, right back in the box. American Thick just came back. Got a direction immediately. Okay, new biggest jam of the game. Yeah, that's a huge 20 point jam here in the first half. Jam number 16 and there is a timeout. Looks like an official review being called by Atlanta. We'll let you know when we know what that was all yeah. about. What do you think? Wrong answers only. <laughs> I wanna <laughs> Give a shout out to another sponsor. Frog Mouth is skater, woman, and worker owned small business right here in Austin, Texas, that specializes in handcrafting custom uniforms and practice wear for roller derby skaters. Have you seen the merch yet for the tournament? It's very good. I have not. Oh. Oh, okay. Kilt Trip's telling us what it's about even before the decision is made. I didn't quite catch all of that, did you? No, because I just saw somebody gave us a note about one of the skaters, and now mm. I'm just checking our roster. Mm. Shout out to all the track repair people who volunteered for that job this weekend. The real MVPs, track repair. American Gothic. Thick. One of them says thick, doesn't it? Am I crazy? Yeah, that one says that. Yeah, w okay. our roster says Atlanta is Amer Atlanta skater number 13 is American Thick. I got to be straight up with y'all in the chat. We're really doing the best that we can. I love Atlanta. Yeah. It's one of my favorite teams. I got two rosters and one in says Thick and one says Gothic, league, but I would but love to be right. <laughs> our rosters are are not all completely correct. So we're reading apparently because I do trust that y'all know better than we do. So Yeah, if you guys know for sure and you like skate with those leagues, like always yeah. always feel free to tell us. Like we're happy to know 
we're reading the right what we're thing. Seeing. And and there's no intent to give any shade. I love Atlanta so much, and it's making it really sad to see. No, I, you know. Oh, it's a shortened name. Okay, but I mean. So Atlanta lost their review, which is a bummer. Because we've been doing, uh, we've been seeing a bunch of reviews so far today that have been, have gone the way of the team. So anyway, two minutes left here two in minutes. period number one. Trangela Lansbury with the star for Twister City. Sweet and sour for the Atlanta Rumblebees. Sweet and sour skating up very quickly to that pivot line and getting swallowed up by the Twister City blockers. Able to find a path through, kind of muscled that out. Sweet and sour showing that strength and skill on eight wheels is lead jammer. Trangela Lansbury. Oh, she was out of the pack, ready to make an initial pass, but going to pick up a penalty. And you know what that means, friends? It's a power, power jam. jam. Love a power jam. First penalty for Trangela Lansbury who's been having a really great game. So getting getting a penalty with a minute and a half left in the first half is not like the worst thing anybody's ever done. Right. Four points added to that score for Atlanta. So eight so far for Sweet and Sour and the Rumblebees. Ooh. Okay. So smart. Smart by Sweet and Sour in the Atlanta bench. Icing Changel the Land. I don't know if you want to ice that jammer in the box, but if you're going to ice a jammer, ice a jammer. Power jam Atlanta. Changel the Lansbury is standing, so she can come in, you know, pretty much immediately and get lead if they're not really watching. So there's an opportunity here to play, like, the world's fastest offense. And here we go, next jam underway. Mac attack with the star for Atlanta. Trangela Lansbury, <gasps> four. Right back in the pack. That's right. Mac attack though, at the top, pushing forward while Trangela got knocked to the outside. Ooh, and Ooh a low block. A penalty. Oh. Everyone checking to see if it's on a blocker or if it's on Trangela Lansbury. Yeah, Trangela back, so second. Man, talk about that announcer curse, Chai. Oops. Called out Trangela <laughs> only having one, and now she gets her second with time running off the clock for that for the first half. And Mac attack still pushing forward. We have made one full lap around the track, and no one has been called lead. Yeah, what? Although I do like watching Mac attack skate. Real smart. Yeah, very strong. Here we go. We are going to maybe see some offense here by Atlanta. The Trangela now back on the track. The Twister City really good at sending one person to harry the offense. And, yeah, just enough confusion for Trangela Lindsbury to get out of here on the inside line. We got Mama Betch in the chat. Got the Betch watch party here with Trix and Maxine. Oh, I love that. Period clock has expired. Somebody's going to the box again. Oh, another forearm on Trangela Lansbury. Oof. So only four seconds left. So she's going to start in the box in the second half. Man, uh, almost completely <laughs> penalty free until the very end. And now three for Trangela. Yeah, wow. So still got two points here. We're going to see that come up. Did Atlanta get three points? So did Atlanta get any points on this jam? They had a star pass. It doesn't look like it. So, guys, that's halftime. We're going to be back in a few minutes. So please enjoy our slideshow. 
Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We got just under two minutes left here in the intermission. We do have a few stats Ooh, yeah, we can me. share with you. So overall penalties, Atlanta's sitting at 22 and Twister City at 16. Both teams have five jammer penalties going into the second half. Nobody in any really big penalty trouble right now. Also want to call out the high scorers for each team. Childish Giambino had a 20-point jam there in the first half. And Sweet and Sour for Atlanta came in with two 12-point jams, so 24 points scored by Sweet and Sour in the first half. So now getting ready to come back out here for that second half here in the game between the eight and nine seeds here at the North America South Regional Championships hosted by Texas Roller Girls right here in Austin, Texas. And we are super ready to get back to that action in just 40 more seconds. So interestingly enough, we've got I will say, I want to point out the jammer rotations. So Atlanta's got at least five people jamming right now, you know, and some are, some are jamming more than others. Mm -hmm. um, but they do have a pretty deep jammer bench. And, you know, Twister City also jamming four people. Uh, we see Childish Jam being a lethal weapon. Woody Toy went out for a couple of jams, Trangle and Lansbury. But they're really sticking to those three. Um, so it's a much tighter jammer lineup, which sometimes allows for maybe a little more consistent play. Penalties, like, honestly, we're, it's easier to see red jerseys, I'm not going to lie. So yeah. we'll, we'll try and keep it, we'll try and keep it maybe a little more balanced than maybe it feels um, right now. But uh, 22 penalties for Twister City, like you were saying, and then only, no, 22 for Atlanta and 16 for Twister City. So, right. like, not crazy, not yeah. a crazy difference. No. Um, I think, though, we saw a couple of times, maybe two or three times, where there were like maybe three of the penalties being served at the same time by right. Atlanta, whereas right. Twister City was more one A little more spread out. Um, and that does make it challenging, right, when you... But you know, like, when stuff like that happens in the first half, you usually don't see it in the second half. From either That's team, right. from either team, you That's know, right. so everybody's got a chance to, like, all right, they're all warmed up, we're settled down, you know, we played a first half, now let's, you know, get the second half in the bag here. And let's do it. Sweet let's do it. With the star... For Atlanta, Trangela Lansbury yeah. for Twister City. Both teams coming out with jammers that were um, really strong in the first half. Yeah, and if you remember, Trangela Lansbury did go to the box at the end of that first half. So this is a power jam for Atlanta. And, you know, they sent out Sweet and Sour, who had that really strong jam right at the end there. Um, and immediately, you know, is lead and scoring now before Trangela Lansbury is even out of the box. Yeah, and Sweet and Sour getting contained for a moment, but then slides to that inside lane, finds the tiniest of openings, and takes full advantage to get out for four more points. And we have had a star pass, so now jamming for Twister City is E-Bomb. So second star pass for E-Bomb. Oh, no. Sharpie marker. Oh, yeah. Hey. Thanks for that correction, I, I think Blue. maybe first star pass for Sharpie marker? Yep. <laughs> Blue's over here telling me, telling me if I'm right. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying stuff. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Blue, for keeping us on track. And Sweet and Sour getting recycled back. Sharpie marker completing an initial pass. And will force that call off, but not before 12 points. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, yep, there it is. 12. A huge 12-point jam to start this game for Sweet and Sour and Atlanta. Sweet and Sour matching her highest scoring jams from the first half. Yeah, nice, uh, strong, strong first jam for Atlanta, which is exactly what they needed coming into the second half here. And yeah, you couldn't ask for better, you know, like yeah. <laughs> 12 points. Other jammers starting in the box. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, that S1 penalty box now empty as we go into jam number two. Right, here we go. No lead yet. Nice, strong defense off the line from both teams. 
And that is going to be Mac Attack. Another lead for Atlanta. Childish Jambino has that start for Twister City and not having any luck getting out of the pack due to those strong blockers from Atlanta. Childish Jambino did have 51 points in the first half. So doing a good job containing her here in this first half. Okay. Wow, Jambino almost unchallenged. Just one blocker at the front of that pack here. Mac Attack coming back around for another scoring pass. Childish Jambino also now in the pack on the scoring pass. Going to pick up four. But Atlanta is going to pick up some more points here at the end. So still a, oh, not a positive jam, unfortunately, for Atlanta. But they got that lead. So two leads in a row is nice. Yeah, and, and keep it close. 8-6 jam. Score 119 to 52 in the early minutes of the second half. I see uh, in the chat, you know, I see the Tampa Tantrums warming up in the back. That's right. We are lucky enough to have enough space to have a separate warm-up track so we don't have to wait too much um, to start the next games. So we got a little behind schedule, but hopefully we'll make it up. Man, blocks, blacks will going in there for a block at the end to slow down Lethal Whippin, who did get out first and pick up lead. Lightning McLynn oh wearing the star for Atlanta. Somebody's, somebody's going to the box or something. Yep, that's a Twister City blocker heading to the box. Lightning McLynn, like, jukey jukey, like, spins to the in and then to the out, like a complete turnaround. Yeah, it'll just so, like, always angling to that inside. Oh. Just such smart footwork. Yeah, up on one skate there and slips through to get out for the initial pass. So Twister City now with two in the box, including their pivot. Ooh. Oh, and we're going to see the call off with two Twister City blockers in the box. This will give a, a nice pack advantage to Atlanta starting the next jam. So Ebom and Trench on the line for Twister City. Saw some love for Trench here. Yep, does Raymond Kinney welcome to the chat? Hey, is that is that your mom in the chat, Chai? No, I don't I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey Ma. 182 is out first, picks up lead. Atlanta has had three leads here in the second half. Woody Toity out though, and now in a position to score points, but Jam is called off, so no points for Woody Toity, and four points added to that Atlanta score. You think that was the fastest Jam we've had in the game? It might be. <laughs> it was a really short one. It's for sure the fastest this half. Hearing that five second call from Nomad. All right, here we go. Emma Dupain on the line for Atlanta, but it is going to be Childish Giambino with the lead for Twister City. Taking Square Ruthless out on her way out of the pack here. Childish Jambino picks up four for Twister City. Emma Dupain, yep, now out of the pack, done with the initial. Watching the bench for the call off, but that was Atlanta with the lead, I saw. Twister City Jammer looking like maybe they were gonna call it off. I'm like, yeah, you can't do that. All right, shout out to the podcast Damsels who discuss for donating the tournament MVP trophies. Give them a listen on your favorite podcast app and, of course, visit them in the vendor village. village. That is Damsels who discuss podcast. 
Mac Attack wearing that star for Atlanta. Trangela Lansbury for Twister City. Mac Attack out first, picks up leads. So both teams have been trading leads here in the last few jams. Oh, oh Mac. Oh, almost. That was so, <laughs> close, so close. But nice job there by Peachy to push Mac Attack. Didn't really, but Mac Attack was trying so hard to get get around that uh, went outside. We have had a star pass. Sharpie marker now jamming for Twister City. And that forces the call off. Mac Attack did pick up all four points. So four to force here in jam number six. Atlanta with 60, Twister City with 130 here with just under 22 minutes left to go in the game. So the winner of this game will go on to play New Jack City, game seven. That'll be tomorrow morning, I believe. Yes. First game tomorrow, I think. Yes, it will be the first game tomorrow morning, 10, 15 a.m. Sweet and sour on the track again with the star for Atlanta. Lethal whipping for Twister City. Oh, heard all those whistles. All those whistles and only one penalty. It is going to be a direction call on number eight from Twister City. That's Sharpie Marker. And sweet and sour with lead. Lethal Whippin also out of the pack, though. Going to put on some pressure. Let's see. Atlanta what's... losing another blocker to the box, too. So, oh, wow. Wow. Some flexibility there shown by Sweet and Sour right. at the end. I always admire that. I would have just fallen down. Yeah. <laughs> and, and picks up all four points. Yeah, right? All right. Worth it. With style and grace, Sweet and Sour getting four more points. Four for points Atlanta. in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have a timeout being called by, looks like Twister City, I think. Yes, there it is. The Here indicator we go. light. The indicator light. Yes. <laughs> the blinking light. Begun to <laughs> do its job. I was watching Nomad. Nomad was, it appeared to be indicating Twister City. So glad I got that right. So here we go. Out of seven jams so far, we've seen... Most of the leads go to Atlanta. We've had a couple of start passes. I don't think, th has there been any jammer penalties this half? I don't think so, no. So super good, good on everybody, keeping it clean. But yeah, most of the leads, five out of seven gone to Atlanta, so that's good. They're, uh, they're coming up on the score here. But Twister City definitely doing a good job with the bench management, they're, they're, they're being smart. Yeah, Atlanta outscoring Twister City so far this game. Looks like 30 points to 21 okay. in favor of Atlanta. Okay, good. So those leads paying off Yeah, showing on that scoreboard. Just needed a little break. Just needed a little break at the halftime. Yeah. Like to see the switch up and coming out strong. Also coming out strong here with those jammer stars, Childish Jambino for Twister City, Lightning McLinn for Atlanta. Jambino does pick up lead. Lightning McLinn also out though, making an initial pass. All right, so maybe they just trade in places now, Twister City with two in the box. And Blacksell standing up there, looks like. Oh, one second. One second. <laughs> oh man, that is rough. But Blaxel's going to have eyes on that track. And as soon as uh, she's released, she'll, oh. be, she'll be there. She thought she could go early. <laughs> and penalty box managers are like, no, no, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, you know, this is. Oh, and is it going to work? Here we go. Lee Chammer, wow. Just barely. Mac attack. But hey. But Trangela Lansbury again, literally, literally right behind. All right, now passing. Well, Trangela Lansbury with that height advantage. Oh, let's see. Okay. And letting it run. Letting let's it run, yeah. Get some points. Get those points. 
Black Rose heading back to the box. Twister City getting their blockers back, but hey, Mac Attack out here, four points. Yeah, nice job there by Agony Christie mm. and Tanya Hardass. Really slowing down Trangela Lansbury. A direction call on a Twister City blocker. So Jammers trading, trading passes. Oh, Ooh. man. Oh, but. Picks up a forearm call there uh, on Trangela. That's the second or third forearm call, I think, huh? Atlanta now with all five skaters back on the track. Twist, Twister City, two in the box, a jammer and a blocker. So this is going to be a power start for Atlanta. That blocker released just as time um, went out on the jam. Well, the jam was called. Now, Trangela up to four penalties here. So she has the most of, of jammers with penalties. That's all. That's all. Like right towards the end of the first half, and and the beginning of the second. So yeah, and Atlanta has not had any jammer penalties so far this half. Okie dokie. And we're you know, we're right. 13 minutes into it. Twink 182 back on the line for Atlanta, power jam. So you know, Twister City hoping for the penalty kill here. Twink with two to beat, but getting that offense, you know, from the pivot. Number two seven, that's Dominican Dynamite again, playing a lot of really good offense this game. Trangel Lansbury back on the line. Oh, oh no. A cut track call on Twink. Ugh. Another Man. Twister City blocker in the box, but power jam, Twister City. However, another penalty for... Trangela Lansbury. Oh, man. Uh, Let's stop talking about jammer penalties because the announcer curse is in I mean, full effect right now. It's happening. We're just saying what's happening. I know. It's a jammer switcheroo, though, and that's mm. going to get Twink right back on the track. You know, it's going to get them both back on the track pretty quick here. Yeah, fair point. Yeah. So ni neither had to sit the full 30, so... Oh, it looks like Two penalties are being assessed to Trangela. No, really? For I'm not sure. I didn't see the signal. So this is going to be a power jam. Really? Yeah, power jam. Yeah, so extraordinary. The head ref is kilt trip, so he went over there to ensure that. So I wonder what it was. <laughs> ah, forearm call on. The pivot? Yep, no For one. Twister City? Yeah, mm. I think so. Yeah, I think you're right. So this will be a full two-minute jam. Man, everyone got in trouble in and this now jam. it's over. <laughs> yeah, that was a rough one, penalty-wise. That S1 penalty yeah. box yeah. seeing way more love. We love you, <laughs> S1, right. but we, we don't want your penalty box yeah, to man. see so many people let let penalty let penalty box timers and managers watch the game challenge 2024 <laughs> <laughs> yeah jordan is asking if that second one was an illegal exit possibly and we have seen a lot of those mm -hmm. here in the championship series we saw them a lot in um and the west tournament and i've already seen two or three here so far here in the south so uh, we don't typically see that many of those being called but these ref crews, I, th I feel like this is one of those things that they're really looking out for. They're really enforcing it, in yeah. These, uh, in the championship series. So a reminder, if those of you don't know, you know, if you're new to the chat or you're new to watching Rolly Derby, you do have to exit the track, you know, pretty perpendicular. Your, your job is to get off the track as safely as possible, and you're not supposed to skate through the infield. Um, you know, you should try to exit the track on the outside as fast as you can. So a lot of these illegal exits often come from people taking a little too long to exit the track. Maybe they skate around the turn and then leave, you know, go out of bounds. But you got to get yourself out of bounds ASAP. Mm -hmm. And Woity Toity with lead for Twister City. That's Emma Dupain with the star for Atlanta. About a minute left here in jam number 11. All right, Emma Dupain out of the box, done with the initial. Now on a scoring pass, Woody Twitty still the lead here. Oh, 
hoping for points. Not getting, you know, not getting any call-off instruction. You know, Twister City definitely a fan of going long. They're trusting that defense to hang on to these Atlanta Jammers. Um, it's, it, it works most of the time. Seeing some offense here by Ebom. But again, you know, Atlanta wise to this big offense happening now. They reform really quickly. Nice block there by Black. So, mm -hmm. Okay, wow. Right on the outside. Witty Twitty. Yeah, Witty Twitty going to... A lot of work it? for four points. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to be out of time here. That's it. Those right. whistles indicate the end of the jam. Thanks for this update from the chat. WFTDA just put out new guidance about illegal exits and have encouraged zebras to adopt the new guidance ASAP. LRB, thanks so much mm. for that information. We've certainly seen that throughout these championships. Got some cheering in the house. I can't quite hear it's who it's for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have uh, headphones on, and it muffles the sound outside of us. Sweet, mm. sweet and sour back out there with the star for Atlanta, Childish Jambino for Twister City. Making friends with F and Ref. <laughs> Big recycle. Yeah, I know Sweet and Sour likes to have a little more space to get the run-up going. Works a lot. And we're going to see another uh, direction call here. Some nice blocking there by Square Ruthless. The other 420, Tanya Hard ass. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got a couple of multiples here. So, lead jammer, Childish Jambino. Man, that took 37 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Atlanta's, Atlanta's defense is like right here ready. Oh, apex oh. jump, but yeah. Dominican no. Dynamite blew yeah, that up. Yeah. Sharpie marker with the recycle to sweet and sour. Oh no. Yeah, that is sweet and sour heading to the box. Jammer penalty, uh, it looks like uh, 825 from Twister City. Professor Flex. So that's a power jam. Was it a cut? For Twister City, yeah, a cut yeah. call on sweet and sour. So first penalty for sweet and sour. Keeping it, been keeping it pretty clean. And Tanya Hardes in the penalty box. Four more points picked up by Childish Jambino. 12 so far here in jam number 12. Just a few seconds left on that jam clock. So once again, a Twister City jammer going those full two minutes. I love it when we have officials in the chat, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they're always they're always so good to explain these things. So the only the only change to the illegal exit rule was the the signal, you know, it, it's now an illegal procedure instead of an in sub. You know, I mean it's and, and you know, obviously most skaters I'm a skater, I would like the benefit of the doubt. I'm not trying to not follow the rules. Right. But so, you know, which is kind of what an in sub is. Yeah. Um so this this becomes an illegal procedure because you're not, you know, leaving the track in the correct manner. Yeah. yeah, and I'm so glad they changed that terminology because the just the context that goes along with insubordination uh, yeah. is super not not cool. Can, it's not appropriate to that situation because I, I can't imagine any of those jammers or anybody getting called on that penalty is doing it. Yeah, because it used, it used to be to like the, mis, the misconduct. Yeah. So misconduct slash, you know, insubordination. So now it's, oh, hey, Ruth. This is one of my teammates in <laughs> Denver. Um, but yeah, it's not misconduct or unsporting conduct, you know, unless it's purposeful or deliberate. Would like to review initiated contact by the black jammer. They wish to determine Okay, so we've got an official review called by Atlanta. It looks like they're looking for a low block on a Twister City blocker. So we will see if anybody's winning an OR in this game. Yeah, so far we're 0 for 2. Did yeah. both teams do an OR in the first half or just one? I 
Did they both do a door? I don't Blue. <laughs> Did do they you remember? No. <laughs> there was at least one, and nobody won it. Was there only the one? Yeah. Yeah, only the one. So no one, no one's won an OR yet this game. So 0 for 1. Let's see what happens next. But first. Sponsors. Sponsors. The certified sweat saver from Triple Eight. Top of the line safety standards and unmatched fit options. That is Triple Eight. And, you know, let's just partner them up. 187 Killer Pads, worn by the most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. I wa I, during half, I ran up past the wellness area and got to give a quick shout out to Blue, who was, of course, so busy. Yeah, right, already. And, and May, you know, it's not, it's not exactly a line because she takes the, uh, you know, it's all scheduled, right? Yeah. But, yeah. So, anyway, always great to see Blue here or at any tournament. Another fabulous sponsor. Was also at NA West. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, so this is the last regional championships before champs. Ooh, okay. No call stands. Everyone felt like the contact was above board. So Atlanta does lose the official review for the half. Both teams now with just two possible clock stoppages left. That last jam was the highest scoring jam from either team so far in this half at 14 points. You'll remember that first jam was 12 points for Sweet and Sour. Oh, Sweet and Sour lead, but uh, knocked out. Lightning McLean lead. Yeah, Lightning McLean is lead, but knocked out by Adrestia, um, which allowed the Twister City jammer to kind of get out immediately. So forced, forced almost an immediate call off. So super quick jam. Yeah, super quick jam. Surgical precision from, <laughs> from Adrestia and Twister City there. Yeah, well done. Just about 10 minutes left here in this game. This is game three here at the North America South Regionals, hosted by Texas Roller Girls. Mac Attack with the star for Atlanta, Woity Toity. Woity Toity. Or Twister City. Mac Attack just slightly pushed out on the outside line, had to recycle back behind the jam line. But, you know, Atlanta defense has Woody Toity pretty locked down. Oh, a head block assessed to the pivot. Ooh, oh, right on the outside line. Mac Attack is lead. But fell, given that tripod time to reform right in front. So the dynamic duo here of Ebom and yeah, that was Trench. Wow, Trench Town Rocket there with that. Yeah, nice Ebom and Trench. They they're they're a very good blocking pair together. We've seen them together a lot this game. Nine one eight heading to the box. That's Woody Toity so as the jammer. That means we have a power jam. Yes, and Mac Attack is lead. And Mac completing an initial pass, just getting ready to score some points. Ooh. I wonder what that floor feels like skating on. Um, I understand it's pretty slick. Um, talk yeah. to Peace War for a second. She's in 96s. Yeah, 96 is what Blue is saying that most yeah. skaters are using. So kind of high, kind of yeah. high for some, yeah. Yeah. Um, especially if you want a little slide, you got to go a little higher durometer. But I mean, what a nice floor to slide on, am I right? Like, it looks like it's fun to skate on. Sweet and Sour with the star for Atlanta. Woody Twitty for Twister City. Sweet and Sour with the speed, not letting anybody have any space to slow her down. 
to get out right oh. behind Woody Toity, knocked oh. out by Sweet and Sour. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was so exciting. <laughs> Woody Toity smiling over there, like, yeah, that was awesome. I'm going to call it off. <laughs> yeah, well played, Sweet and Sour. A fun jam. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's in the, that would be in my top 10 most fun jams for sure. I don't remember enough roller derby to have top 10 anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm with you. Lightning McLynn for Atlanta wearing that star and Childish Jambino for Twister City. Oh, no. And it's a forearm oh. for Lightning McLynn. But lead, lead goes to... Childish Giambino, and I saw a high block here and another Twister City blocker, so power jam Twister City. But down one, and that's enough, you know, there we go, yep, Dominican Dynamite again with the knockout. Oh man, a lot of offense getting in there to get uh, Childish Giambino out. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta definitely making him work for it. I mean, it's a power jam, but it doesn't look like Travis Giambino is going to get more than four points before. Yeah, here we go. Lightning McLean back on the track. Yeah, a really excellent job by Atlanta's blockers to kill that power jam. And Lightning McLean now making an initial pass, getting up to the pack and score some points here. Well, it's going to be at least one or two. Yep, yeah, two. Oh, it looks like two. Lightning McLean is lightning. So a 4-2 jam there. Wow. That was really excellent blocking by Atlanta. Yeah, reminder, this this game, uh, the winner will go on to play Jacksonville tomorrow morning. Um, I believe that'll be the first game for Jacksonville in this tournament. Yep, so we got a couple. Texecutioners also didn't have to play anybody till after one of the first games today. They'll be playing Chattanooga. And Atlanta Dirty South will be playing Columbia. Columbia Quad Squad. Oh, yeah. Um, we do have a jammer getting into some penalty trouble. That is Trangela Lansbury has five. Oof. But I think that's the most. I think all the other jammers, so they've only maybe gotten one or two, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lightning McLynn is now sitting at three. Mm. So it's eight jammer penalties in the game so far Black for Atlanta. Yep, I saw that. I saw that. It looked interesting from this angle, so we'll have to see what the refs saw. Um, but, yeah, it looked like, you know, maybe in turn to Lightning McLean, there was some – I saw somebody holding their face, but, you know, that's not always indicative of anything. So right. we'll have to find out what the refs uh, were able to see because they were obviously much closer to it. Right. Both teams' uh, jammers have eight total penalties. Oh. In the game so far. And they were both at five when we ended the first half, right? So they've both gotten three here in the second half. Okay. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, both, both teams pretty consistent. A lot of shout outs from the chat for Dominican Dynamite. Right. Yep. Yeah, having a really good game. Mm hmm. Yeah, Dominican Dynamite truly locked in there, shutting down all the lanes, getting the big blocks. So, yep, reminder, you're watching Twister City Victory All-Star Squad, Twister City Roller Derby out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and, of course, the Atlanta Roller Derby Rumble Bees out of Atlanta, Georgia. So it looks like ref saw contact to the sternum and head contact might have been incidental and it looks like they're losing the review so no one has a review twister city only with one clock stoppage left possible and then atlanta with two five and a half minutes left in the game 165 to 79 Looks like they might be doing a little track repair or just doing a 
officials skating around and just making sure everything is uh, taped down well and going to keep all the skaters safe. Also another one of our vendors here this weekend. We've got the ATX Women's Sports Pub. Austin's new sports pub is exclusively supporting women women's sports. All fans are welcome coming fall 2024. Visit them in the vendor village. And, of course, check them out if you are ever in town. And there we go. Now we are right Ooh. back at it. Nice. Mac attack with the lead right on the outside line here. Man, and Mac's getting really fast. Yeah, right. Star pass to Punchy from Twister City. First star pass to Punchy I think we've seen maybe. Uh, caught up here now in the back by the Atlanta Pack. If they hang on to Punchy, it'd be good to run this one long, huh? Yeah, for Four sure. Four points. Four points. First star pass for Punchy. First jam. First jam. All right. Four more points on the board for Atlanta. So eight so far in this jam. About 50 seconds left in jam 17. Getting down to the final minutes of the game. <gasps> Yeah, so Mac Attack got that lead pretty quickly, and it looks like Twister City's like, all right, all right, we have to be serious now and hang on to Mac a little bit longer. Two to beat. And that is Punchy out, four points. And there it is, Mac mm -hmm. Attack getting knocked down and just calls it off from the ground. Did pick up 12 points all right. in that jam. So that ties the highest scoring jam of the half. So positive jam for Atlanta here. I don't even remember how 12 points happened. I, I guess I've got a jam needs a jam. Sweet and sour. Wearing that star again for Atlanta. Lethal whipping for Twister City. Oh no, sweet and sour here. Lead jammer for Atlanta, but yeah, lethal whipping coming up fast. All right, just sweet and sour going for four points and calling it. And Twister City has a blocker in the box. 95, same as Lightning McLinn's number. And is that Lightning McLinn on the track right now? I can't see from my perspective, but that would be cool. I think it is. Because it's like Lightning Queen, you know? Right, yeah. Yeah. I know. So look, it is. It is Lightning McLean. Ninety-five points and number <laughs> and ninety-five, number nine. Lightning <laughs> McLean, wearing that star fake. and gets lead. lead jammer. Meant to be. If anybody's going to take be Atlanta, Atlanta. Destin. That's right. If anybody's going to take Atlanta away from that ninety-five score, it should be oh, number ninety-five. Oh, beautiful footwork on the inside line. I mean, okay. I've seen enough to know I've seen too much. Yeah, that right. Was so pretty, Lightning <laughs> McLean. Now score at 99 for Atlanta. A star pass has uh, been executed and Brittany Bitch. And jamming. yeah, you can tell everybody's, everybody's getting tired now <laughs> for sure. And unfortunately, we've only got a minute and a half left in this game. <laughs> Looks like three more points are going to be added to that Atlanta scores, taking them to 102 to so 69, 169. Yep, broken that century mark for Atlanta. We got a lot of Lightning fans in the chat. I'm sure I'm sure she can hear you. I'm sure. I'm certain. If you're not screaming at your TV at Roller Derby, is it not? 
All right, here we go. Woody Twitty on the line up against Twink 182. Another jammer is having a – both jammers having pretty good games here. That is going to be Twink 182, lead jammer. Woody Twitty out, not too far behind. Big spill on Square Ruthless. But fast recovery. Another short jam with 35 on the clock. We're definitely going to get one more jam, but we'll see if somebody calls a timeout anyway. <laughs> All we want for Christmas is a 67-point jam in the chat. <laughs> it's not unreasonable. Yeah. Sweet and sour with the star for Atlanta. If anybody can do it, it's sweet and sour. Sharpie marker wearing that star for Twister City. Sweet and sour with one to beat coming up against a Brittany Betch. Brittany Betch. Gets knocked to the inside and recycled back so close. Oh, it's going to be a cut. Man, Brittany Vetch right back <sighs> just far enough on the outside with that run back. Power Jam, Twister City, Lee Jammer, Sharpie Marker. And, yep, they're going to call it off. They're not going to prolong it. <laughs> All right, folks, that is Twister City, the eight seed with the win over the Atlanta Rumblebees, the nine seed. Twister City will go on to play New Jack City game seven. First thing tomorrow morning, New Jacks being the one seed here. Atlanta has another game as well. I think but that will be into the tomorrow. I think we'll be in one of the Constellation Bracket yep. games. In the so, bracket. yeah, make sure you check out the WFTDA Tournament Central website. They're going to update the bracket tonight. Uh, you will see that. And then, of course, follow all those Texas Roller Girls socials. They're going to be posting those updates as well. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us in the YouTube chat. If you couldn't be here, we're sorry not to see you, but uh, we'll see you again soon. Yeah, hey, and one real quick shout-out to Atlanta. Just a beautiful second half. They're putting up 70 points in oh, the, yeah. the second half. Yeah, great recovery second half to Atlanta. So really fun game to watch. Stick around for the next one. Probably going to start in about 15 minutes, but keep an eye there, friends on YouTube, because they will put Time to Derby up there so that you know. And we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye.